Hello everybody, uh, I am going to present uh, our paper entitled Stock Price Prediction using CNN and LSTM based deep learning models. This paper is jointly authored by me, Professor Jaydeep Sen and my student Sidra Mehta. Both of us come from Praxis Business School in Kolkata. Uh, so the, uh, before I start, I put the objective of this work. The primary objective of this work is to develop a robust predictive framework for predicting the daily index of Nifty 50 listed in the National Stock Exchange of India. Nifty 50 is the composite index of the top 50 companies listed in NSE chosen from several sectors of the Indian economy. The predictive framework is built using five uh, you know, deep learning models, two of which are CNN based and three of which are uh, LSTM based. The work uh, major contribution are twofold. One is there are extreme high level of accuracy that we have observed in all these models we have been able to achieve. And the second is that models are very fast. The fastest model needed only 11.17 seconds to execute on 1045 training and 415 test records. And the root mean square uh, error of the uh, to the mean of the target variable was uh, 0349 for the most accurate model. So outline of the work is related work we'll discuss about a little bit methodology, deep learning models, convolutional models, two as uh, three uh, LSTA models have performance results, their observation and the conclusion references. So there are three uh, you know, types of work, categories of work. One are mostly regression based. The second categories are mostly on uh, you know uh, econometric methods like ARIMA, ARDL and Ganger and third and most widely work on basically are the machine learning and the deep learning models. So for methodology we have collected data from the Yahoo Finance for all the days during MSC was open for during the period December 29-2014 to July 31-2020. The raw data was uh, you know uh, carrying these variables with it uh, date, uh, date open high low close volume the stock data is converted into a sequence con consisting of records from monday to friday the missing data was uh, imputed by uh, copying records immediately from the preceding days the variable date is ignored from the data because it's already a sequence of observations the variable open is chosen as the response and others are predictors the historical nifty 50 records for the period december 29 to December 2818 has been used as a training and the models are tested on the uh, data December 31st 2018 to July 31st 2020. We followed an approach of multi-step forecasting with work forward validation in which actually once we uh, predict for the next week we take the actual record of that week and uh, augment our training set to predict, uh, predict for the next week. That's why it is called work forward validation. Now uh, we have actually, you know, exploited the power of CNN and LSTM in building our models. The CNN models are of two types here. There is CNN one, which is univariate with uh, one week data, prior data as I input. CNN two, uh, CNN model with uh, two weeks prior data as input. LSTM. There are three uh, models that we have produced: encoder, decoder, LSTM with two weeks uh, prior data, encoder, decoder, CNN LSTM with two weeks prior data, encoder, decoder, convolutional LSTM with two weeks prior data. Now the first model that we discuss is CNN1, it's a univariate model with one week prior data, one convolution layer with 16 feature maps and a kernel size of 3 has been used. Uh, so that there has not much of feature extraction because this is a very simple model max pooling layer of size 2 reduces the features that are extracted by the convolution layer the flattened vector is interpreted by a fully connected layer and then finally it is passed on to a fully connected uh, dense layer in the output layer in the output layer we use uh, sigmoid whereas in the other layers we have used relu as the activation and Adam as the optimizer, 20 epochs and the batch size of 4 has been used, loss function MSE and you know our MSE has been computed out of that. So this is the broad architecture, 5 one is the input shape, then we have got a convolution layer, max pooling layer, flattening layer, then the dense layer and the finally output layer produces the 5 output. Uh, this is model 2. CNN model 2 is uh, structurally similar to CNN 1, only difference is that it uses 2 weeks prior data instead of 1 weeks data. So we have got 10 instead of 5, remaining part of the network architecture remains same. 
So LSTM model, this is a univariate LSTM with two weeks prior data as input, two LSTM layers are used, the encoder layer actually encodes and decoder layer decodes, the first LSTM layer has 200 nodes, it receives input sequence in the form of 10, one, one feature, 10 you know, uh, data sets produces 20 elements vector because that's uh, feature extraction, massive feature extraction happens. Each timestamp, the output sequence, the output sequence will be analyzed once, hence five timestamps, uh, 200 features are extracted. The feature final prediction is done one day at a time, step by step using a time distributor wrapper, which is coming out of Keras. The rel ReLU activation is used in the two LSTMs, MSC Adam at the loss and the, you know, optimizer functions using the output layer. The training was done over 20 epochs using a batch size of 16. The architecture of LSTM model is this, 10 one is the shape, then the LSTM encoding layer. Then this goes into the uh, repeat vector, which actually does the same operation for each round. Then you have got the decoding LSTM and then the time distributed wrapper and finally the output layer. Uh, the LSTM2 model, instead of uh, uh, applying an encoding uh, you know, LSTM, there is an encoding CNN, which consists of two convolution layers. The first layer extracts 64 feature maps from the input and the kernel size of three. The second also does the same thing followed by a max pooling layer which has a you know reduces the feature size by two the output of the max pooling layer is flattened into a long vector consisting of 122 values 192 values the flattened vector is set into the decoded lstm layer and remaining part of the decoding part remains exactly same as the lstm1 this is the lstm2 uh, model tn1 is the shape then the first convolution layer second convolution layer max pooling layer flattened layer repeat vector and the decoding Coding LSTM layer onwards remains same as the previous architecture. Then model, model 3 which is uh, you know instead of a fully functional LSTM CNN for encoding we produce uh, actually in fact we uh, you know uh, um, deploy a convolution layer instead of a fully CNN that actually makes the model lighter. So in contrast to CNN LSTM model, a convolutional LSTM model uses convolutional operation to directly read a sequence into the uh, subsequence is each consisting of five records. The remaining operations remains exactly same as LSTM2. So this is what is your input coming in the form of 2151 because there are two subsequences each consisting of five. Then there is a convolutional two dimensional convolution layer which uh, converts this into makes a convolution operation flattens repeat vector lstm and then time sequence uh, time distributed wrapping exactly as lstm1 and lstm2 the models have been implemented in a system consisting of intel 5 i5 8250u processor with a clock speed of 1.60 gigahertz 1.80 gigahertz hdb ram HGB RAM running on 64 windows, 64 bits windows, 10, uh, uh, 10 operating system. Uh, the models are implemented using Python 3.7.4, TensorFlow 2.0, 2.3.0, Keras 2.4.5. Each model is executed over 10 rounds uh, and their mean performance is taken in terms of their execution speed. The overall RMSC of the entire week and the RMSC values of indi each individual week. Finally, the mean measure of the execution time, the overall RMSC and the RMSC for the individual week are computed in order to compare the models in terms of their performances. The mean of the open uh, index value, which is used as a denominator, which has been used as 1070.59, this directly is computed from the data set. Now, these are the results. So, we have got five models. So, these are the point to note. Mean uh, execution time for CNN have been 12.48. Mean RMSC by mean of the target is 0 0.0349. So this denotes the accuracy of the model. This denotes the fastness of the model. So the one which wins over here, the lowest time actually is the fastest model, which we can see here, 11.17. So LSTM3, which is a uh, encoder decoder convolutional LSTM that is turns out to be the faster whereas the lowest value of RMSC by mean is found to be produced by 0349 that is CNN1 which is univariate CNN with one uh, prior man, uh, week's uh, input as the um, uh, input to the model. So these are the performance. 
and we also observed fantastic uh, you know very interesting results in terms of the RMAC as exhibited by the models over different days of a week and we find that each uh, model has exhibited one unique characteristics that there is a constant increase in RMAC from Monday to us uh, to the uh, Friday the um, Friday's RMSE has been maximum so it has been proved that the randomness of the data turns out to be the maximum in the day of Friday and this is least in the terms of Monday so most of the model has committed less error during uh, Mondays and uh, maximum error during the Fridays and also uh, it is uh, clearly visible that this model LSTM1 actually has a little deviation because it has exhibited maximum error in the month of Thursday right so uh, this is the uh, you know overall result cnn1 turns out to be the most accurate lstm3 turns out to be the fastest so i have ranked them also in terms of execution and rmsc speed lmsc uh, lstm3 turns out to be fastest it has got a rank one uh, in terms of execution speed 11.17 cnn turns out to be the rank three two and the slowest uh, turns out to be lstm2 which is nothing but cnn lstm uh, which uh, deployed one CNN in the encoding layer and RMSE by mean so the most accurate model turns out to be CNN1 which is CNN with one uh, you know prior week data as an input which turns out to be the value of 0, 3, 4, 9 in RMSE by mean of the actuals and the second one CNN5 uh, the first one basically is uh, you know uh, the rank which has turned out to be the you know least accurate is lstm4 right that is you know the one which is uh, having uh, you can say convolutional uh, lstm which has got the lowest time so uh, in conclusion we have uh, presented several approaches for prediction of the daily index values of nifty 50 on one week time horizon using time uh, five uh, you know, um, deep learning model our proposition included two univariate cnn model three univariate lsta models in general the five models will get very high level of accuracy however cnn models with past one week data as its input is found to be the most accurate while convolutional LSTM model with past two weeks data as the input is observed to be the fastest. As a future scope of work we want to include generative adversarial network in our design because those models are supposed to be very very accurate in terms of uh, you know extracting and in imitating the future uh, you know, the feature of the time series. So we want to take it towards that uh, level. Uh, in our next work so these are the references and this is my email id i would be very glad to receive your uh, you know uh, questions which i will be very uh, glad to answer thank you very much in closing